Thanks, P. Reese. The word fly can carry many different connotations. A few that come to mind for me include the learning to fly metaphor, when you start a new chapter in your life. The spread your wings metaphor, when you are feeling scared of going after something. The fly like an eagle, that song that could be about drug use, but is probably about a world revolution to pick up those among us who have fallen. But in a very literal way, the word fly gives us a picture of flapping wings. I want to tell you a little bit about how eagles fly. A bald eagle can have up to eight feet of wingspan, which is a lot of wing to move up and down constantly. Eagles flap mostly to get off the ground, and then once they catch a thermal current, they let the wind carry them up. Their wings are very powerful. Pound for pound, they are more powerful than airplane wings. And yet it takes so much energy to use them in that flapping or flying motion that they generally stick to soaring or gliding. In fact, it takes 1 20th the amount of energy to glide than it does to flap. Two scientists, John Gerard and Gary Bortolatti, studied eagles extensively and they observed a female eagle averaging less than two minutes per hour of flap time, with the other 58 minutes spent gliding or soaring. With this picture in mind, I want to read you a few verses from the end of Isaiah chapter 40. Do you not know, have you not heard, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary and young people stumble and fall, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So many times throughout college, I was at the point of collapse. I was just beat. I was too tired to get out of bed in the morning. I was too busy and stressed and anxious to go to bed at night so that I could get out of bed in the morning. And I'm sure many of you have felt this physical exhaustion. That is a natural part of college. But I have also experienced so much mental, emotional, and spiritual exhaustion in the last four years. Sure, finals week is tough, and arguably the week before finals is tougher. But what's tougher still is losing my friend Devin McCauley last summer in a drowning accident, or losing my grandma to a brain aneurysm at the beginning of my sophomore year. I'm sure you've experienced tougher things than finals too. Maybe you were cheated on by a significant other or you had to find out that a family member got cancer. Maybe you experienced sexual harassment on any level, or you've been fighting a mental health disorder or an eating disorder. Maybe you lost a job or you lost a friend. Life can be pretty exhausting, but do you not know, have you not heard, the Lord is an everlasting God he will not grow tired or weary. Right now on graduation day, I'm flying high, and I'm sure you all are as well, especially with those fake degrees in your hands. <laughs> but when you once again reach that point of exhaustion, because fun fact, that doesn't go away after college. Remember that God is waiting to renew your strength. He loves you with this mind-blowing, crazy, awesome love, and it will carry you past graduation and through the next stages of your life, into and out of jobs and relationships, joys and difficulties, exciting and scary times alike. Class of 16, you've got yourself some powerful wings, strong enough to carry you through the roughest storms and lift you up to the highest heights but don't wear yourself out with all that flapping. 
Instead, spread your wings, be open-minded about where and how God is going to use your gifts in this world, and let him lead you on with strength enough to last you through this long flight that we call life. And enjoy the view, because really, God's gonna take care of the rest. So, farewell graduates. I pray that the God of peace not only carries you through any storm this world puts you through, but that he also sends endless currents of grace and love to lift you up to soar with wings like eagles. Congratulations, class of 2016.